All right, family, what's up? What's up? What's up? So I'm, I'm heading out to the gym right now, going up to uh, LA Fitness in, in Conyers. I'm a few minutes away. I'm going to meet up with my boy George, who's who's uh, visiting for the week and a half. He has his own house down here in Georgia, but he lives in the Bronx for now until he gets his butt back down to Georgia, officially after his retirement. So yesterday, not yesterday, day before yesterday, I took that ride down to South Carolina to that that car show it was fun i'm telling you man i love i love riding and just going out there and just having a good time you know meeting people connecting with people i say it a lot it's the little things that we do that can add up to greater things in the long run and sometimes the short run but what i do want to talk to y'all about real quick is motorcycle clubs man it's knowing if you want to be a part of a club or not right what kind of club you want to be a part of like for me there is something about a club that has grown mature men men who are about something there's something about a club that has the right energy that matches my energy right men alpha men not thugs not dudes that's out trying to be something that they're not you know finding a club for me is about success it's about people who are successful in their own right people who have families people who put put the family first put god first put the job first then comes the club you know that's the type of energy that I look for in a club. So I don't know if you're looking for a club, if you're trying to find a club, wherever you are, if you're a part of a club, I would love for you to leave that in the comments for me. Let me know what you are, what part of your life you're in right now. Are you in a motorcycle club or a riders club? You know what I mean? Are you a probie? Are you a patch member? Where are you at in the stage? I know that there's a lot of stigmas, a lot of unnecessary, um, stereotypes that's created by the media a lot of us see motorcycle clubs and we associate motorcycle clubs to gangs right to a gang and that's wrong it's just a group of men who gets together on bikes and do a lot of charity events it's 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 men who get together and ride together and don't get me wrong there definitely are some clubs out there who do a lot of things that's not really good but that's that's few okay it's not a lot and let me get this reverse real quick before crashing ding somebody's car up but like i said i'm going to the gym right here see bam so i'm going to la fitness i'm gonna get some footage and um get some training and look at him over there you can't even see him but he's in that that car right there He's over there in the car staring at me like, yo, D, shut up and let's go. <laughs> let's go, bro. Let's go. So we get some training, get some angles. You might see some 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 stuff. And I come back to you and talk to y'all a bit, a bit more without saying too much. You know what I'm saying? But I want to talk to you guys and just hear where you are. All right? Let's go. Yo, do you know that you are a true chump? A true chump. I told you I don't mind wait. You always waiting on me. So it don't make no big deal for me to wait for you for a half a second. <laughs> do what you gotta do and make it over here. Just get over here next time. You a real chump. See, that's how New York people say hello to each other. The New York, you hear what we say, get over here. That's New York, you feel me? I don't know who this cat think he's talking to, but I guarantee you by the time y'all, listen, listen, listen. The next time you see him, He's gonna be yelling and screaming. Ah, ah, ah. He's gonna be dying underneath that bench press. I promise you this. I promise you this. And, and you know, yeah. Can I? Can I? Can I rebuttal that? <laughs> can you rebuttal it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> what up, baby? <laughs> you can't rebuttal it, sucker. <laughs> Let's go, George. We're about to work, baby. We're about to work. When I first came down here, I offered you one of these. <laughs> this is a ginger I gave him a ginger mint But I gave him the original regular kind But this one here Is mango Got some flavor to it So you see the hand coming out So when I first gave it to him He was like the first one was like Mmm that's good The second one <laughs> That's that uh, Jamaican mango taste he had <laughs> And he loved it Now I come back today And I got one more left that I bought from New York. One left, and I'm about to give it to my big bro. My big little brother, because I'm older than him. All right, all right, all right. Wait, wait, relax. 
I'm actually crying because I've got to give him my last one. Yeah. There you go, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. I got my candy. I got my candy. <laughs> I might just gonna be my pre-workout. <laughs> my, hey, I'm gonna pre-workout, George. <laughs> Tell you, I'm tired too. I'm tired, but once I get in that gym, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. When you say you're tired, you get your butt up and go to work out. I don't want to hear nothing from none of y'all. Don't tell me nothing. You're tired, you get to work point blank. Let's go. So I got 10. 10 straights, then 10 quarters. It's a massive burn. Let's go, George. I gotta know about an MC, right? It's brotherhood. It's basically you go through that pain together, you grind together, you build together, you work together. That's one of the things that a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to the riders, the riding clubs, or the motorcycle clubs. Is you gotta build. Now me and George, George don't ride motorcycles, so he ain't a part of no motorcycle club, but he a part of the brotherhood. And the brotherhood is where it all happens. It's um going through the hard stuff the good stuff and knowing at the end of the day you can clash like I said in the beginning alpha men is that you can clash and come back right into your journey you feel me and at the same time it's about trust your family becomes their family their family becomes your family principles behind the club remember like I told y'all it's not a gang and I'm saying a lot without saying a lot you know what I mean it's really a group of brothers who has like minds different minds but at the same time come to come together and work together to create an organization that's it let's go George you up baby so we're using 110 pounds Before, still pushing with my brother since 2008. I gotta thank him for everything. 54 years young. So all of y'all, don't let me hear nothing, okay? 46 years young, don't let me hear nothing. Especially from your 30s and your 20s. Don't let me hear nothing. Thank you, big bro. How you feeling, bro? Well, my hands, but my chest is hurting right now, so I feel it there. He feeling with his hands. I didn't ask him to give me any private, personal situation. <laughs> I keep on telling him, leave that to your wife. I think it's 2022, and he's still feeling with his hands. <laughs> Not a good look. <laughs> Yo, so we did, what's, how many sets we got so far? Five? Five sets. Okay, we got five more sets to go, right? So we're doing 10 rounds of 20 reps. That's 200 reps total. So the work is real, baby. Huh? This real is, this work is real real. So so in case you're wondering why I'm doing the quarters 
it's called tut, time under tension. So when you're training your body, it's how much time you keep the muscle under tension. So yeah, we got the full range of motion and the machines are great, isotonic resistance, right? You get the resistance that are negative and a positive. So it's not like using free weights. Free weights, you get the resistance on the push, but here you got the resistance on the positive negative, which is better for your joints, plus you get a better pump. So people who knock machines, they don't know what he's talking about. You gotta hit those machines. All right, so we're done with that. Hold on a second. George, how you feel? With my hands, still. Still feeling with his damn hands. I gotta, I gotta think, rethink my friends. <laughs> All right, so listen. So now, we're doing seated chest fly. Let me show you what the machine looks like. Okay, you could do this on a standing cable fly. You could do this with dumbbells. But remember, dumbbells and machines, very level, very different levels of resistance. So when you're training, your, your chest fibers, don't worry about going heavy, heavy. We went heavy in the last round. What, what weight is that on, George? 170? 170, right? So we started off and then in the last four rounds, we got heavier, heavier, heavier. But heavier the way you can manage it, right? So on the cables, I'm gonna put this down to 120. And that's gonna feel like, like paper in the beginning. And I promise you, the burn is gonna be severe. You feel me? All right. And if you notice, when I'm coming out, I'm not smacking my hands together. I'm coming out and I'm stopping right here. That's where the chest works, right here. But if you're sticking, you're still going like this, you lose it, all right? So keep the tension on the chest. George is up. I like George's facial expression when he's about to lift the weights. Let's see if he's gonna try to pretend or if he's gonna keep that real true facial expression. Not his hands anymore. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. You, you remember? You remember when I said that the machine was gonna be like pretty light and stuff like that? And I said I put it on at 120. I lied, man. That 120 wasn't light. I just wanted to build up the rapport in my spirit, in my mind, so I could feel prepped for it. You know what I mean? That man behind there is dying to hold the camera. To my arms is hurting right now, but uh, he said it was supposed to start off light. He lied. He's a big liar. Don't mm -hmm. believe him when he talks to you. Don't That's believe just between the us. Okay? I'm right here, George. <laughs> you can hear everything you said. All right, so no lie. My chest feel like I grew some tits right now, right? Like I need a bra. So check it out. Now, last set. We are gonna go down. We're gonna go, I mean, down, down the line, but up the weight. So we're going to 140 right now. And um, just wish me luck, man. That's it. Oh, rep tax though, rep tax. Anytime you have a set number and you fail those numbers, you owe taxes. For every 10 seconds you rest. <laughs> rep tax, baby. Rep taxes, baby. When you're training, I don't want the pum pum plexus. I don't want to send a pussy work. 
I need for y'all to train. Alpha work, all right? I mean that. Let's go. exempt from the tax but I wasn't all right let's go to the next now another thing too that I love about this the bike set it's the idea of putting together meetings events parties you know gathering yourselves you looking for your water right here gathering yourselves and just going on rides together you know also being able to communicate with each other through your cardo network packs or your, your, your whatever systems you got and you know riding as a team riding as a as a squad and um people recognize you and people know you and people know about you but like i said you know it's basically looking at the people that surround you and be able to judge for yourself are these the type of men that i want to be around if you're a female and you're in a female club or these are the type of women that i want to be around do they stand for the same spiritual mental financial type of beliefs that you have and physical beliefs because i've seen clubs where it's a lot of sloppy men a lot of sloppy fat men that's that's in these clubs and they don't take 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 their health seriously but then you got the ones out there who i love and i'm not going to name names but there are clubs that i absolutely love that 95% of the men in that club is in shape. They're, they're about something and they're grown men, you feel me? Um, and then the few that's not in shape, you can tell that they wanna be in shape and they will talk to me about it too. And that's what I love, see what I'm saying? So look out and see to make sure that they're part of what you believe in. <laughs> All right, so here goes the drill coming up. I'm gonna do one push up, then George do one push up. I do two, he does two, so we're gonna go up all the way to 10, all right? And then there's a lot of surprises after that number. <laughs> George is not very happy right now, you feel me? Sloppy over here. Y'all do it. Let's go. Come on. I gotta hold the spot. <laughs> All right, yo. So I get it. Why people don't work out, man? Yo, it takes a specific breed of people to actually train your body. You can't be a little punk and work out because it requires a certain sense of resistance and a lot of us are trained to avoid resistance we don't go to resistance and that's 
another thing I want to talk about when it comes to the MC. It's understanding that resistance is going to be given. And if you can't handle the resistance, then you're going to crack and you're going to fold and you're going to just give up. You can't give up. You see what I'm saying? You can't give up. So if you're, if you're looking to be a part of it, you got to have that mindset of being able to apply that. The same way you apply it to training and fitness, you got to apply it to the same thing with your, with your, with your process. Feel me? Woo. Yeah, what's up, George? What's up, guys? This is not easy. This is not easy, people. It's not easy. It may look like it's easy, but hard work pays off. Hard work pays off. And I'm still down here on the ground. <laughs> right I'm staying up tall I'm repping down I'm repping down every time I come down I'm squeezing the muscle I'm squeezing the muscle if you don't know the tricep is the back of the arms it's right here this is the tricep okay so I'm also tightening my abs and my shoulders are back and I'm repping one of the mistakes I see a lot of guys doing is this when you they're here and they lean over and they're going like this like this okay that doesn't hit the tricep that hits a lot of your shoulders so make sure you're hitting the triceps the right way okay all right, we started at 25 reps. We did three sets, right? The fourth set, supposed to be 25, but I just killed out 50. So I expect my brother to bust out 50 as well, even 51. You can't train with people who's on the same level as you. You gotta train people who's better, even 2% better. They're gonna challenge you to go a little higher. And we can't be good at, we can't all be good at everything. Come on, what's the number? 33, come on, Four. 25, don't want no taxes, bro. That little extra, that's what it's about. You got to push yourself. You got to be ready, man. You got to be ready. That's point blank. You feel me? Woo. All right, so that's the training. Didn't do a lot, but we did a lot. So we did incline chest press on the cable machine, full range of motion for 10, then quarters for 10, for 10 sets. Then we went over to the cable flies. We did five sets of 15, right? Five sets of 15. 15 reps. Then we went and did uh, the push-ups. So we did the one, one, two, two, all the way up. What's that, like 56 push-ups, 52, something like that? Then we went over to the triceps and did four sets of 25, well, three sets of 25, and the last set was 50. So, hold on, they can't hear you, they can't hear you. I can't downplay the push-ups because the push-ups, even though they were about 50, 55, we're trying to hold after each one goes. So if he does one, I'm still holding in that push-up position, which means the chest is still activated. So it makes it a bit hard, and the triceps is, is working. It's my, my triceps is screaming ah! right now. So. <laughs> How do they sound, George? How do the triceps sound? Sound like. Ah! <laughs> and mine sound like. <laughs> so, yo. Yeah, you can't doubt. So, the, my point is like, what we're trying to tell y'all is like, you don't have to go in the gym and be in the gym for long and doing like what everybody else does. Get in the gym, train your body, get in, get out. That's the key, but the intensity is what I'm looking at. It's not the rest time. When you rest too much, your muscles begin to start to lose that energy. Keep the energy going. Rest, give yourself five second countdown, go again. 10 second countdown, go again. Now my last thing I'll tell y'all regarding the motorcycle stuff, I'm gonna talk to y'all a lot more about different things regarding motorcycles, it's um, is to just remember the word humble. When you're in a club, 
whether it's a motorcycle club, a car club, the Boy Scouts, the military, martial arts, whatever it is, whatever club you're a part of, humble yourself. Don't go in there thinking that you know everything. Maybe you've been in like five other motorcycle clubs and if that's you, then you really don't know how to stick to clubs, right? Because a club, you're supposed to be willing to go through blood, thick, thin, water, sodas, beers, everything. You're supposed to be able to go through all of it and still be a part of that club and, rep and represent that, that patch. That's just point blank. It's not about bouncing back and forth and this. And that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, to make sure you're with somebody, a group of people that you love. But you gotta humble yourself, right? When you humble yourself, you learn a lot. When you learn how to shut up and stop talking, you learn a lot. You know when to talk, when not to talk. You know when to be quiet, you know when to express yourself. Just know it. And I promise you it's gonna go a long way. Like right now, me, I'm gonna tell you, I've always been a ball of energy, but a lot of people don't know that I'm really introverted. People think I'm extroverted, but they see the extrovert because that's what you see. The guy in the camera, the guy doing TV shows, the guy riding a motorcycle, I'm in the gym talking to everybody. George is introverted, introverted. He's He's introverted, minimum extroverted. But I'm what you call an ambivert. And an ambivert is a mixture of both. That's what an ambivert is. Some people are one side or the other. I'm both, but I'm more leaning towards introvert. So when I go to events and I'm around brothers, I feel sweaty underneath my armpits. I feel internal nervousness. I feel, that's how I feel. And I don't clam up like most people. I know how to let the energy flow and just be me, right? But by me sitting down, breathing, humbling myself, not coming, not being too energetic, not being too under energetic, kind of keeping that balance, it comes off pretty normal to people. But if I go into a spot that I'm around a bunch of people that's watching as I'm going through certain phases in life, remember I tell you I'm telling y'all, but I'm not telling y'all. So you make your own assumptions, right? When I'm going through certain phases and I go in there and I try to be this crazy energetic dude, that's not good. And if I try to be too under energetic, that's still not good. So I, I find a balance where I still come off as Donovan. You see what I'm saying? So that's my tip for y'all today. If you have been a part of any clubs, let me know. You don't gotta put the name of the club. If you're going through prospecting, if you're going through anything, if you're thinking about joining a club and you have some hesitations, re your reservations about it, talk to somebody. Find somebody that's in the club, ask the real questions. If you're going as a probie, Remember, it's a motorcycle club. That's all it is. It's not, it's not your job. It's not your life or death situation. It's a club. And at the end of the day, everybody have lives. We all got jobs, we got things to do. But you're not gonna get nowhere if you don't ask the real questions. You gotta ask the real questions. So if you got anything going through your heart, through your mind, through your spirit, you make sure that you get there, you sit down with some of the members, you ask some of the hard questions. You feel me? Some clubs don't accept black people. Some clubs won't accept white people. Some clubs won't accept females. Some clubs accept females. Some clubs don't want no little girly boys. They want alpha men. Some clubs, they accept everybody. You know, so you gotta know the club. Some clubs is not about religion. Some clubs is about religion. They got Christian clubs. They got Christian, raw, authentic Christian bike clubs that if you see them, you would think them boys is thugs, okay? They, look, they, they got the bandanas on, they got all kinds of stuff, but they are Christian clubs. Some of them, once again, all whites. Some of them, once again, all blacks. Some of them is combined. So know the clubs that you're going for. They got clubs that is atheists. They got all kinds of clubs. That's why they call clubs. It has to be people that's like-minded, all right? And if you're trying to get into a club because you think it's the cool thing to do, then you're not ready for a club. That's all I gotta tell you all. All right, so leave your comments. Let me know if you learn anything or if I said anything to you that you disagree with or maybe you agree with every damn thing. And also the training. Let me know what you're doing to work out. How's the training going? All right, this is DG from Ride Fit Nation telling y'all to keep on riding. Ride fit or don't ride at all. That's it, late.